Hello, my name is Miranda, and I'm pursuing a weight loss journey to lose over 125 pounds. Currently, this is the end of week three of my 30-day challenge. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. This week, I struggled with a flare-up of my chronic illness, so I speak about my feelings about that in the moment, as well as bouncing back from it this week. I also have the promised fruit and veg delivery service unboxing, as well as a Southwest kale and bean dish, so I hope you stick around to the end of the video and consider subscribing to the channel. So today is Tuesday of week three. I have finished work and had a shower. Today is martial arts day. So we are supposed to go and get our throw people on. However, I have had a massive headache all day. It has just been excruciating. I barely made it through my work day. And today is a good day to talk about motivation <laughs> and what to do when you're experiencing your flare ups for chronic illness. I literally am sitting here very ill. My, the pain is making me physically ill. I haven't eaten much today. I had sandwich did not even eat the peach that I was supposed to eat. Normally I will have a coffee, it takes me all day to drink it. It's still full. I didn't even drink my coffee today. I have not even wanted to drink it. My head has been hurting so bad that I've just felt so ill that I didn't want the caffeine in my system. Actually, I have been, oh, you probably can't see that. There we go. Water with some electrolytes in there. I've been trying to stay as hydrated as possible today, but nothing seems to work. My head is still absolutely killing me. It feels like my eyeballs are going to explode out of my head. And I only get to go to my martial arts class twice a week. So Tuesdays and Saturdays, I don't get to go outside of that. There's no other classes that are available. And right now there are a lot of new people because it is the beginning of the fall season. So they are desperate for seniors and not having me there would be a detriment to tonight's practice. And part of me knows that I should probably stay home, hydrate, sleep, relax. Another part of me feels bad if I don't go and help out. So I'm torn today. And I know that if I go, I won't be putting in 100%. So we're probably going to have to give it a hour. Maybe I'll take a quick nap. Let somebody else make dinner tonight. See if I can have some medication kick in and see where we go from there. But I'm having a rough day today. And all I really want to do as a mother of three <laughs> is crawl back into bed and go to sleep. And that is just not something I can do now that they're getting home from school. Fingers crossed. Welcome to Wednesday, everyone. Well, the worst happened yesterday. I did tap out and not go to my martial arts class. 
I ended up shortly after videotaping and lied down taking two of my Excedrin medication and pretty much tried to sleep off or at least just kind of lay down in a dark room and get over my headache and it was bad it was really bad it, nauseous and the whole bit like if you've ever had a really bad headache that makes you feel sick at the same time those are the worst kind and I had one last night the day just kept getting worse and worse and although it's the end of my work day now and I didn't feel great all day I still went to work I still did my work I'm actually glad that I did go because uh, the universe rewarded me being a rock star today. So I have really positive things about my work day. And that made it uh, a lot easier considering I wasn't 100%. But yesterday was, was a write-off in the afternoon and evening. I pretty much did nothing but lie down with a cold cloth on my head and taking medications and spent some quality time with the puppers. So me and the dogs chilled for pretty much the rest of the evening. And I just listened to podcasts and that was pretty much my evening for last night. So not much in the way of recording opportunities. I'll give it that. So today was much better. I bounced back. I had a much better day at work, probably because I felt better. And it just seemed that everything was going a lot smoother today and a lot better and much more positive. And I had a much more positive day when things looked a lot brighter. I had a much more positive outlook, even though I kind of still felt yucky. And the day progressed as such. So today's tip, no matter how bad you might feel, always try to have a positive outlook because you never know, the day might turn around. Hi, so today is Thursday and I got my food delivery box full of fruits and vegetables. So I told you I was going to do an unboxing, so here we go. So we've got our apples. We got these cute little donut peaches. <laughs> Aren't they cute? There are several of them. I'm just going to move those off to the side. I got only two Granny Smith apples, because that is all I need. And I did need two bunches of broccoli. I go through quite a bit of broccoli, so I needed to get two bunches this week. Now, as I want to make a stir fry later in the week, I got some fresh French green beans. These cute little tomatoes. Last week I ordered these and they sent me just the plain red cherry ones. I was actually pretty disappointed that they didn't send me these. So I'm very happy that they didn't substitute them out. onions there should be two yes there are <laughs> there's bok choy but it's not in a bag so we're gonna have these little bok choy everywhere <laughs> there's so many of them mini cucumbers these are great for snacking i love to just grab these little mini cucumbers to snack on no cutting required this is where i'm disappointed though because i asked for brown 
organic eggs and they sent me the white ones which are cheaper aha yes barrett pears they sent me bosque pears last week not barrett and i asked for barrett barlet barlet pears and i was very disappointed i didn't get them strawberries more oranges i've been eating more oranges to get some extra vitamin c helps with iron uh, absorption zucchini we're going to make some uh, zucchini taco bo boats so we must have a zucchini <laughs> and then a cute little mango so this is everything I got in my delivery boxes for this week. Obviously this isn't everything. This is just what I got in my delivery boxes. I also got some fruits and vegetables with my actual grocery order, like asparagus and bananas. It was just cheaper to get this stuff through the delivery service than it was to get it through the actual grocery store. And any way that I can try to save some money is what I will do in this economy. Please comment below if there are ways that you are trying to save money on your grocery bill. And I will see you tomorrow. there you have it the end of week three did you catch my husband's legs in the nighttime doggy walking video he was such a sport for letting me include that now when we made the southwest dish we had lots of leftovers because my kids found it too spicy comment below your favorite family one pot dish in the comments below so i can see what your family likes to eat because my family found this dish a little too spicy for their liking that meant that we had plenty of leftovers for my husband and I to eat. I ended up eating quite a bit of them on Saturday, which meant that I didn't have a lot of new things on Saturday to record. And because there wasn't a lot of new things, I forgot to record at all on Saturday. Saturday, I find it a little difficult to record simply because my children are home and we have quite a busy weekend uh, planned. And... Because our weekend is so busy, I sometimes forget to record at all. That's why you don't see anything for Saturday this week. I do have some really interesting things planned for next week. I'll see how many of them I can fit in. I'm really actually pretty excited about at least one thing that I want to get done next week. And in case you missed last week, uh, you can watch the recap right here and see what happened last week during that recap. And as always... Stay amazing.